news uncensored you are now rocking with the best make sure that you follow us on social media also share and hit the like button for the best sound in the industry go down in the description box and get you a pair of beats headphones right now and now for our feature presentation the hip-hop business section on hiphopun.com um T.I. has been doing a lot. You know, he's done a lot over the years, you know, um, but now he's trying to get back to the community. So T.I. is actually on a mission now, rebuilding his old neighborhood in the Center Hill section of Atlanta. Now, in 2017, he started a real estate company called Buy Back the Block, um, which, and this is by way, excuse me, that the Atlanta star, I want to give due credit, you know, where it's due. Um, now, in a recent interview, T.I.P. said he partnered with fellow Atlanta rapper Killer Mike, and they brought up um, one building, the Bankhead Seafood Building, um, a beloved eatery that closed earlier, you know, um, in the year down there. Um, so far, they said T.I. spent about $2 million out of his own pocket um, and reinvesting in the neighborhood. Now, T.I. goes on to say, um, I grew up in the 1980s and 90s in the Center Hill section of Atlanta, just off Bankhead Highway, um, he told the Inc., um, back then the part of town was considered the low end of the middle class after the crack era, the community stalled. And from 1994 to 2012, it became extremely desolate areas for business. There's no major grocery store chain. There's no fresh produce. There's no CVS. There are only liquor stores, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so yeah, man, definitely. This is dope, man. Um, to see, cause this is one thing that I always criticize, you know, rappers, you can do what you want, you know, with your money, but you know, um, when the conditions of the neighborhood, when you go back into the conditions now, and now you're getting shot at and killed, you know what I mean? It's because, not to say indirectly, directly, but indirectly, because you got to reinvest to build up these neighborhoods, you know, um, and, and one way is, you know, through healthy eating and education. So I definitely salute T.I., you know, but I want to hear what Sam Man has to say, and I'll um, allude more on this, you know, I'm on the back end. What do you think about T.I., man, investing, you know, Putting his money where his mouth is, essentially. He took the words out of my mouth. I was just about to say that I think this is a situation where you clearly see T.I. putting his money where his mouth is. He, he's not someone out here that's going to be talking about issues. Him being on the forefront of one of the main celebrities, especially hip hop artists, on the forefront of social issues that plague our country nowadays, especially as black Americans in this country. Him really talking about change and really want um, how to um invite and, and and bring on change when it comes to banking and, and and taking your money and dollar out of certain corporations in order to really start having conversations that affect this community and i think when you see a situation where he's going back directly to where he lives and planning and putting roots back there for people to see a different kind of light than he's seen back in the 80s and 90s i think he's doing exactly what we need to do mm -hmm. as not just hip-hop artists not just entertainers not just people with money but this is how we really begin to invoke change is starting to police and take care of our community communities and our neighborhoods and then branch that out what ti is clearly doing is leading by example and it's great that we highlight this and shout out to oh for even bringing this conversation up because right now if you check ti on google little things you're going to see tiny you're going to bring back the incident with the golf course it's a whole bunch of smoke screens and bullshit mm -hmm. to keep you distracted from real major things that people are doing out here and shout out to killer mike as well uh, atlanta staple out there anytime you see killer mike's name on something you know it's for the community mm -hmm. you know it's positive so shout out to them brothers man they pay it forward lead by example man we salute you ti and just keep doing what you're doing yeah man and like we say this is like the real you know when you talk about you know um the consciousness you know stuff like this reinvesting you know um in the community because if you look you know um in our communities is, is often you know um there's lack of it could be have lack of you know things like people want to eat healthy but it's too expensive you know and that's also one of the things that ti you know wanted to do he said he wanted to make it not you know make it you know when he um reinvested in the community he doesn't want to make it too expensive you know what people you know can afford it because a lot of people in our community are on fixed income but if the children you know had a role model and this is like for every man listening like a lot of kids in our community don't have fathers you know a lot of brothers that i know you know they always had a story and i'm sure that you know mm. they didn't have a father we did when we grew up mm. you know what i mean so maybe like even like kids in our neighborhood every man could challenge himself to mentor you know what i mean or you know help other brothers in the community if you got kids or not you know what i mean whenever you can you know what i mean because that helps because if they have a role because they see if kids saw rappers start to do this stuff they will actually emulate this stuff too they they emulate the bad but they'll also emulate the good we see that you know what when you know, you got your son mm -hmm. when you do positive things he'll do positive things if mm -hmm. you do negative things he'll do negative things so 
that, that's what it all comes down to. And that's why, you know, it's even, I think it's horrible, you know, to see, you know, these rappers and even the execs, you know, um, exploit the black community the way they do and don't give anything back to it. Cause it's almost like you don't give a damn. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. this this is big right here. You see other people like Rick Ross. You see brothers um, all over really doing it. But, you know, to highlight um, Jay Prince, you know what I mean? You got brothers that's really doing some things and that they need to be highlighted. And that's one thing that we're going to specialize on our platform. Yeah, we dig into the other stuff and all as part of hip hop, but we definitely dig in, you know, to the real business stuff. But go ahead, Sam, man. You know, oh God, you, you brought up a couple things. When I, I went on live, when Triple X died, shout out to Viral Hip Hop News, everyone yes, subscribe to the movement. Um, And I talked about Triple X and how us, if you're 29, 30 years old right now, you are an OG, whether you want to be or not. It's up to us, whether you have a son, whether you have children, whether you're uncle, uh, whatever you are, to really go out here and touch one of us and make sure that we're doing the right things and giving them the right you get the values to continue to go on because they're chewing our children up and they're spitting them out ruthlessly. They don't care. And if we don't do it, if the parents don't do it, then like I said, they're just going to get chewed up and spit out. You see what they're doing. They're getting younger and younger. The, the, when, when we see the body count, these children dying by police, mm. they're getting younger and younger and younger. And that's scary when we have sons and nephews and, and, and kids and, and granddaughters and daughters and nieces growing up in this reality. And it's too close to home. So it's up to us as OGs, whether you have a parent or not. If you're 29, 30, if you hit that age where you've already lived and done your life, your responsibility is now is to take care of someone next to you. Make it your personal responsibility. I don't care how corny that sounds or whatever. And you see T.I. doing that through his foundation. This brother has Thanks. five, six kids, but he's still seeing and understanding his responsibility and touching things. Now, I don't want, because I, I made a comment mm -hmm. about him and his wife, and I don't want the female demographic of people saying that we're not shedding light on that. What I simply am saying is his personal relationship is none of our fucking business. Right. We have no business talking or knowing about what he's doing in his personal space and how that's affecting his home. None of our business. When he's out here directly affecting our community and doing things, we're going to critique it. When he's doing positive things and promoting and doing the things he's doing right now, we're going to highlight it. And that's what we do right here on the Uncensored Truth Podcast. Yes, sir. But you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam, man. We're going all the way in today, but we need your participation as you're watching right now. Hit that like button, everybody listening, and make sure that you share this video.